We, many of you possibly know Open Forum Europe through the summit we ran in April, but actually we've been going for some years. And one of the things that we've always done is actually regular breakfast briefings. Now, some people hate breakfast briefings, Sachika, um, <laughs> my colleague Sachika. Uh, others love them, and others prefer the evening. So we're very interested to get people's views, whether it's better to get up in the morning or stay later in the evening. But the idea behind the briefings is, is very simple. What we try to do is to pick on a particular subject which we think is of interest. And obviously we discuss that as many people as we can, and then try and get some of the best speakers to talk about it, and then have a discussion. So um, we started off for this session thinking about about 25 people. As you can see, we've gone beyond that now. So um, it means the table's a little bit bigger than we would like. The room is a little bit bigger than we'd like. So hopefully we can still have the discussion in the round. Um, we made the decision just about five minutes ago to have a microphone for the speakers, but we won't. But the speakers are very much going to sit around the table, and so hopefully we can have a good discussion going on. Another couple of things then is clearly is the whole mission of Open Forum Europe is about openness. Um, we've spent a lot of time talking about open standards. Um, we've been very supportive of the open source business model, but our prime purpose is all about open competitive choice. And it's always about looking forward, looking ahead. And out of the summit which we held in April, um, the whole issue clearly of the cloud was starting to emerge in a big way. No big surprise at all, I'm sure, for everybody. But when you look at uh, the issue of openness in the cloud, you start to raise a series of potentially other issues that we think need to be discussed. It's not that the answer is, our position is. Discussions like this are great to help us formulate our opinion, but what we want to do is really is to get your input as much as giving input to you. So that's really the focus today, and the first subject within the cloud that we want to cover today is the issue of data portability. And Data portability is one of those key factors that doesn't really come up into the discussion when you talk into like the way we're used to doing IT, but is a fundamental factor uh, in the world of the cloud. And it's very interesting, again, um, Simon Wardley from Canonical, <coughs> who's going to be doing the first week, is going to be talking a bit about the cloud, but speaking around with government, suddenly the cloud is entered into the agenda in the public sector in a significant way. A few weeks ago, I was with the chief uh, CIO of the UK government, and they absolutely believe in the G Cloud, as they're calling it, and see that it is a very strong way forward for them. But again, an awful lot of unanswered questions. So hopefully that's a discussion we can get going. Um, last thing I wanted to say is, like all OFE meetings, it's under Chatham House rules, which means is uh, nothing can be attributed. And it, I think hopefully what that will give you is the opportunity to discuss freely. Nobody's going to quote you for it. So be as controversial as you like, be as challenging as you like. <laughs> So Simon Wardley, Software Services Management Chronicle, is our first speaker. Our second speaker is Brian Fitzpatrick from Gui 